My name is uh, Florent Chauveau. Um, I'm a, a co-founder and a CTO of The Color. And um, well, The Color provides a telecom API. So, um, well, today we'll talk about the evolution of telecom APIs. Uh, but before we start, uh, let's talk about what you can do with a telecom API and why would you even need a telecom API? So, um, well, um, the idea is to integrate and to add voice capabilities to existing products and services. Uh, let's say you are a bank, uh, you probably want your customers to uh, call and uh, check their account on the phone. Or another example, well, let's say um, you have a website. You might want your customers to, um, you might want to propose to your customers a free web callback. Another example, uh, let's say um, you have uh, a CRM and you want to um, announce a new product to all your customers and you want to, to call all of them, but you want to automate the calls. Well, that's the kind of things you can do with a telecom API. So um, let's talk about how we did it and how we used to do it in the 90s. So, um, well, first of all, you, you had to buy or to rent very expensive hardware. And you also, you had to interconnect with a carrier and you had to plug in like telephone lines and it, it was definitely very expensive. Uh, obviously it was not scalable because uh, if you needed like, let's say 10 concurrent calls, well, you needed to have at least 10 telephone lines. So uh, those were obviously expensive. So it was, it was not scalable, it was expensive. Typical uses at the time were for a banking system and insurance. The script uh, of what you hear on the phone was hard coded into the hardware. So if you wanted to change anything, you had to uh, call the manufacturer and it would bill you to change anything you would do on the IVR. The IVR was, is what you hear on the phone. Um, obviously, the equipment was installed on the customer premises, so it was definitely not on the cloud. A few years later, well, in the early uh, 2000, uh, VoIP started to emerge and companies started to replace telephone lines by voice over IP, but they would still need uh, expensive hardware. Well, some of them started to use open source softwares like Asterisk or Camayo or OpenSer or stuff like that. But in the early uh, 2000, it was, not, it was not stable enough to use in production or in very large environments. Um, and even though you could use voice over IP and you did not use uh, telephone lines anymore, you still had to interconnect with a carrier. So, even if you use SIP and voice over IP, you, you had to use a carrier and was, it could still be very expensive. Integration was probably easier, but it was still, still expensive and still with complex software. If you wanted to integrate some voice into your existing product or services, you still needed to have a telecom expertise in your company. Um, and a few years later, well, um, hosted solution began to spread. So you did, not ha you did not have to buy expensive hardware anymore. You could just use a hosted solution. Uh, it was definitely easier to integrate, but it was still complex because we used complex protocols. Like if you wanted to script an IVR, you had to use stuff like voice XML. Uh, if you wanted to uh, integrate um, like speech synthesis or text-to-speech. You had to use stuff like SSML. If you wanted to send text messages, you had to use um, uh, SMPP gateways or proprietary HTTP POS, stuff like that. It was, it was still complex. Um, so let's talk about how we do it today and what, 
what has changed? Well, APIs in the cloud definitely change everything because with the APIs, you do not have hardware anymore. You do not have complex software or complex protocols. Um, you do not have interconnection with carriers. So it's definitely easier to add voice or text messages into your current products and services. Um, well, a few uh, providers of uh, APIs in the cloud, uh, Twilio and Voxeo are obvious uh, providers today. They're both from the United States. But do not forget, there is also the color. Um, well, APIs change everything because cloud APIs, they, they use uh, cloud HTTP. Oh, sorry, they use, uh, they use HTTP uh, with protocols like uh, JSON or uh, REST. And that means that any web developer can become a telecom integrator. Any web developer can integrate and add, add voice services, add text messages to, to any website or product or, or solution. You do not need to connect with a carrier anymore. So that's definitely much easier to integrate into existing software and business tools. Um, you just have to focus on your product. You do not have to focus anymore on specific telecom technology or telecom um, infrastructure. Well, these, um, the API, they, uh, they brought specific and they brought a new kind of, uh, of uh, solutions. Uh, we'll talk about three of them. The first one is um, with an API, with a telecom API, you can live control or you can control in real time a phone call. That means that you can integrate, um, you can, uh, well, how can I say, you can control uh, a call in real time with your data, which means that if you want to build a custom IVR with your data and uh, if you want to, uh, I don't know, let's say you can call anyone, you can say anything to anyone you call and you can make actions depending on what the user is saying, on what the user is, uh, on which key he's pressing. Well, you can do that very easily with a few lines of code and an API. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk more about it, uh, about all the, the cases in, uh, in a few minutes. A uh, second uh, new kind of solution is the call tracking. The call tracking is a, it's a way to uh, analyze inbound calls and get powerful analytics of your calls. It's very um, uh, complementary with uh, your web analytics. You'll see it in a few minutes. And the, the third, the third um, new kind of solution, well, they existed before when you had to plug telephone lines into your hardware. But now they're in the cloud and they're much smarter. Uh, I'm talking about the dialers. So let's see the first case. Uh, let's say you have a CRM. Uh, you want to uh, automate calls. You want to call off your customers. Um, you can do this with a few lines of code. And the system will call uh, automatically. It will detect answering machines. It will, you will avoid, obviously, unassigned numbers, unavailable customers. So you will not waste time um, dialing those numbers. And you will only talk to available customers. OK, second uh, example. Um, there are many cases where you can use a smart dialing system. Um, let's say you are a bank and you want to uh, automate calls in case of emergency. Well, with a few lines of code, you can call anyone and say anything. Let's say uh, you want to um, restrict uh, access to your intranet and you want to implement a two-step out mechanism. Well, you can do it very easily. Uh, with a password plus a code sent by text message or a code sent said on the phone. It's very easy. Um, 
or maybe you work in the healthcare industry and you want to automate uh, appointments and confirmations, well, you can also do it, obviously. And let's look at the, at the third uh, example. Uh, let's say you have a website, you sell goods online. Uh, today, you're probably using uh, something like Google Analytics or Woopora or whichever uh, web analytics. Um, you exactly know which keywords led to a sale. What you do not know is which of those keywords led to a phone call that led to a sale. That's where the call tracking comes in. With the call tracking, you know which channel uh, works better than the other. Maybe it's uh, your TV ad, maybe it's a radio ad, maybe it's those specific keywords you bought on Yahoo and you did not believe in. Maybe they led to a phone call that led to more sales. So definitely with the call tracking, you increase your return on investment and you invest only on ads that works. Um, a word about our API. We uh, use the JSON RPC technology. It's very protocol, sorry. It's very easy. It's very easy to implement in any programming language. Um, we offer real time for call control, which means you can build any uh, IVR or inbound or outbound system calling system. It's very, very easy to use. We provide phone numbers worldwide and SMS termination as well, which means you can call or you can receive call anywhere in the world. And uh, obviously, we are pay-as-you-go uh, model, like every model in the cloud, so you only pay for what you use. Uh, please do not go to the documentation yet. It's not complete. <laughs> but you can uh, check it tomorrow. It's a new one. Thank you. Do you have any question? No? Thank you.